previous you guys the problem with tally chat is that he kept Pepe doing Lama. something that literally nobody asked for and every time nobody Leon asked Chef. oh my god felix won the mystery but one next night oh, the no, pressure stop, stop, ends. stop. 62 months and a broken heart because you don't want to be my friend Hey, yo, PJ, hey! What's up? Thanks, my friend. Yo, yo, my friend, man. This is 200 percent man. 60 miles chat. east of the mass pog chat, chat, tag PJ with a big pog champ. 62 month resub, plus, plus, ratio, plus, uh, he has the founder badge. Mr. Chef Kitchen, the remaining eight home cooks have arrived at Norco, Horstown, USA, where they'll face off in a team challenge of epic proportions. I don't know where we are. But there is an intense smell of cow manure. O M G! Here comes Gordon and Joe riding up, all smooth and suave, on two horses. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Chef Ramsay looks really sexy on a horse. Damn, he, he does though. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Come on, big boy. I like, I like, Woo! remember, I like, I like, yeah. I like Gordo looking busting. Oh, oh. Nah, I wish I was a horse then. Howdy! Hey, yo! Howdy, Howdy sir. Howdy! In an hour and a half from now, 101 hungry cowboys will be galloping up here, and your job is to feed them. Oh, my God. I can tell you what cowboys like to eat. Beef. Yeah. In those wagons, you'll find amazing USDA choice New York strip and ribeye steaks, as well as Ooh. fresh produce, all from Walmart. Oh. You'll be split into two teams. Each team will cook 101 thick steaks plus two sides. Each cowboy will eat some grub from the red team and the blue team. Then they'll hang a horseshoe for the team that served them their favorite meal. Yeah, that was the my first team something wrong. to 51 votes will win. The losing team will face the dreaded MasterChef pressure test. Can I get a reaction? Frank and Monty, the two of you had the best dishes in the last elimination test. So, obviously, you'll be team captains today. Time to pick your posses. I'm gonna be the best team captain MasterChef has boys. ever seen. Frank, you had the best dish of the elimination challenge, so you get to pick first. Well, the first Felix. person, she's my biggest competition, so I like to have that on my team, Becky. Becky. Yeah, Becky. Becky. Wow. Come we over. Weakling. Excellent. Weakling. I want a team of underdogs. I relate to the underdogs. I am an underdog. I want and Felix. I feel like she's underdogs gonna have fight. I admire this person's creativity in the kitchen. I'd like to choose Stacy. Yeah, I knew it. See, I knew it. Wow. She went for Felix. Wow. I'm with Stacy. I, I called it. it. It's gonna be Josh. Ooh. Josh. Wow. Monty. Next pick. David Martinez. What? Wow. 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 Look at you. Think. I mean, this pick. What the fuck is this script? Teams. Yeah. I'm not surprised that Raw I'm David near for a the meat competition. Pick. Obviously, since I'm blind, it's difficult for me to get around, and that's definitely frustrating for me. Uh, if I have to come down the one, it's just because I've worked with her on a, on a team before. Felix. It's got to be Felix. Damn. Felix. No. Christine. Yes, Chef. Last pick again. Yes. On a personal front, you, for flavor profile, will be my first pick. Thank you, Chef. At this point, I want to prove myself to the entire team that I'm more than capable of being out in the field and, and cooking alongside the rest of them. Blue but... team, captained by Monty. Red team, captained by Frank. My team is literally the dream team today. They it's are not... people that are able to share okay, ideas kind of and work together as a team. Since the very beginning, we told you that MasterChef will be full of twists and turns. And here comes another it one. It is, yeah. In the real world, great chefs have to adapt and focus on delivering great dishes, even when they're working with people they don't Maybe necessarily Maybe Josh and Monty or Josh and Christine. Frank and Monty, both of you, please take a step forward. Take off your aprons. Oh, yes. What? Now switch them. Oh my god, I knew it. And go and join your new teams. Get the f out of here right now, man. I just uh -huh. picked the best team, and he's switching it off. I think my new team probably just hates the fact they got stuck with me as a team captain. You've got 90 minutes to prep 
and then one hour. You know what? I, I, I disagree. The only thing that Ricky needed is some leadership that isn't Becky. They're chilling. Cowboys. They're still Treat good. These gorgeous steaks with the respect they deserve. Your time starts now. Good luck. The only two leaders left in the whole competition is Becky and Monty. minutes before 101 Cowboys arrive. The red team has decided to cook a ribeye steak. Now they need to agree on their sides. We have a sweet potato. I would like Frank to Frank is okay for leading. Monty says yeah. she wants to cook sweet potatoes. I'm thinking, no, it's just too much time having to peel, chop, and cook all those damn potatoes for 101 people. What? And then I need ideas for the other side. Can I, bro? I think baked beans would be good. I want to do barbecue baked beans. I can make a huge Hold pot of it. We can put it on the heat, and that's XUCL. good. That's easily 100 portions. We don't have to overthink it, and it will be really great with steak. It's not no. that hard. Is there no, green no beans? Salad. Let's look at it. Here. Yeah, there's green beans. Let's go look. Let's go look. We got green beans right here too. If you want Let's to do, do green right. beans and a spicy sauce and a hot sauce. We can use maybe the chilies. I just don't think this reads cowboy enough. Despite concerns from her teammates, Monty yeah, has decided crash. that the red team will be serving their steak with sweet potato mash and spicy green beans. She has chosen this menu. If this fails, it's on her. Whoa. While not everyone on Monty's red team likes her vision for their Shut dish, up, Becky. over on the blue team, Frank is taking a more collaborative approach. Who knows how to make a sauce? I can make a delicious barbecue sauce. Okay, you're good. All right. I um, can make an awesome garlic mash. Okay. Those okay. Water. Now vegetables. What do we think? I'm thinking corn. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Corn? The blue team has decided on a New York strip steak with garlic mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, and Stacy's barbecue sauce. So a key to the good barbecue sauce. I like sauce a boiled corn a with some butter, butter and salt, not. Not so when you're looking at a steak, Roast what exactly are you oh, looking at? I look at those steaks, they were perfect. I don't know why Americans like them. I think it's dog shit. color, the marbling, they were perfectly thick. These are some real, real primo steaks. Those steaks are 16 ounce thick, so you know, they've got to be cooked properly. You give a cowboy rare, almost raw steak, then right. they're going to kick up a stink. I made a dry rub and I'm rubbing down these steaks. They're going to be nice and savory and spicy. I really want to make those cowboys come down to their knees when they bite into this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would. I would. The Cowboys are just one hour away. On the blue team, Captain Frank has begun the task of pre-searing the steaks. But on the red team, Captain Monty has delegated Don't this crucial this task taken. to Becky. Becky, yes. what's going on? Uh, Did you just I take am... control? Did you take Monty's job as <laughs> no, captain? No, absolutely You're not. You're manning the she, grill? You're front and center? She, she's, she's back there cutting beans. She's 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 high. Yeah, what's going on with her? I asked her if she wanted to do it. She wanted me to do it. So I said, you know, whatever you want. But do you so, agree that, you know, manning the grill is like pole position, That's right? what I thought. That's her choice. If she wants to cut vegetables and then put one of her team members on the most important station on the entire freaking challenge, then by all means. What? As Becky this sears is... off the steaks for the red team, Frank has assigned Christine to grill the corn. But what she's the, left what the, the dry outer husks on. The grill what is, she is saying? on fire, guys. Somebody has to do it. Like, what? It's, I don't know why it's on fire. There's fire. Someone can fire. fire. Corn, please. Come on, then. Don't stand there. You guys are going to move a little bit. Somebody can you help me? If we lose because of this, it's totally coming down the on me. The guy can't help him. It's on fire, guys. I got it. I got it. I'm helping you out, Christine. With just 50 minutes remaining yeah, before the count. As she's blind chat, but guys, 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 the guide guides. Guys, it's still a competition, okay? I hate to say it, okay? I love Christine. It's still a competition, okay? The guide guides, but she can't help. Boys arrive for their Master Chef cookout. Right? The blue team is scrambling to put out the fire from Christine's corn. I put the blind girl on the grill. I can't believe I did that. I didn't know the grill was so damn hot. There we go. It's kind of a bump in the road, but we're getting over it. Sorry, guys. Fire's out. Fire's out. <laughs> Thanks. Guys, 45 minutes to go. As the blue team tries to salvage Christine's corn, over on the red team, Becky is struggling you really, you really with, the with the grill. What are you going for here? These are already I'm medium. I'm, I'm not trying to get them to medium. I'm These just are like to... medium, though. I can tell you that right now. Monty, these steaks are all overcooked. They're all already yeah, medium. Yeah, no shit, medium. though. Yeah. I don't know what the misunderstanding is, but Becky starts cooking the steaks, not just searing them. All over Bitch, Josh, the flames of more door, motherfucker. What is going on here? We're only given 105 steaks. A quarter of our steaks are overdone. We're 
Oh, Big Jesus. problem on the red team. Yeah. All the stakes are overcooked. Monty called Josh over, but and I might be too late. I yeah. don't know. What kind of damage Becky did already? By the time they've rested, they've been well done. They're well, well done. done. And then heated up again. They do not want to eat a well done steak, which is crazy. Look at the rhythm of the blue team compared to the red team. I think well, Frank's like leadership is really coming to bear. Yeah, yeah. He's in control. And they're taking a cue from his confidence and his cool. He's really it's asking David the whole team. for his take on the, the meat cook. Really 60 good. minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. You see, this is, this is going to be a problem. Quick, take these out. Look what's on the bottom. While Joe has acknowledged Frank's leadership, he's concerned with the way the blue team is resting their stakes. Oh, you can't stack up stakes. Let me look at this. Yeah. Those stakes in the bottom are like submerged hey. in like an aquarium hey. of blood. See so, the heat coming so, up? Yeah, they're basically that. poaching. They're like going from yep. medium rare to medium. Yeah, all the Rest juices are just coming out. Let me look at this. Yeah. I just, I don't look know where else to put it, Joe. You, know you what gotta I mean? spread them out. Look what the red team's doing. They got steaks all over the place. Yeah. What was before was crispy and caramelized is now kind of gooey, dude. You gotta really be careful with this. As Frank tries to rescue his steaks, on the red team, Monty is concerned they yeah, won't have enough wrong. of one of their it's side dishes. Of it's not the bottom, it? Do you see how small that plate is and how huge our steak is? Trust me, I was serving last time for that military challenge. We need more potatoes. It's going to be tough getting the potatoes down, but I know that we can do it. Cowboys are coming. Frank! Yes? Have a look at the hill. Oh. There you guess. Jeez. That's a lot of freaking cowboys. Oh my god. Those cowboys be arriving any minute now, guys. <laughs> Careful shot top of the left on super no, hot. David, David, my name's you Ramsey, not Martinez. Need more steaks out here. Do we have another board for steaks? That sauce is delicious. Thank you. Oh. Kicking ass and taking names. Let's go, guys. Five minutes to go. Okay, Stacey. Oh, look at that butter sauce, baby. Best whiskey butter sauce I've ever made in my entire life. Woo! Two minutes to go, guys. The Cowboys are coming, guys. Okay, Becky. And my God, they look hungry. Son of a gun, dude. Damn. Welcome, Cowboys. Seeing this line of 101 Cowboys, it's intimidating. It looks like a picturesque Western scene, but it's also Stop. very daunting. I'm like, oh, that's a lot of people to feed. Steaks coming in. Yeah! Okay, red team, blue team. Your one hour service begins. Let's go. Woo! Howdy! How are, we doing? How are you? The cowboy cookout has Let's begun. See. Oh, that's cute. See. The 101 cowboys and cowgirls will chow down on dishes from each team. Oh, and that looks awesome. Cowboy ribeye today with a little Kentucky whiskey butter. Okay. There you go. Have a good one. Thanks so much. The red team is serving a ribeye, sweet potato mash, and spicy green beans. Oh, that looks kind of, hey, that looks kind of it going? Thing. We have a sweet, smoky barbecue sauce here. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. Here you go. Thank you. Yes, the team blue. The blue team is serving a New York strip steak with Stacy's sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. And a sauce, bite of corn. Garlic mashed potatoes and grilled corn on the cob. Cool. That's How you doing, cowboys? You have a good is ride Is that a whole in? bite? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. What the fuck? Red team or blue team? At the moment, I'm going to have to go with the steak on the uh, red, red team. team. For you? So far, I think I'm going blue team. Here you go. Enjoy. These steaks are so tender. I, I can't believe you can get things like this at Walmart. The blue plate? Okay, the steak dude. is incredible. I love it. The sauce is awesome. Is a killer. I'm a sweet potato girl. Shut I love up. sweet potatoes. Mm. And these are really good. More potatoes, please. More sweet potatoes. Where are the sweet potatoes? That was all we got. Are they cooked? How would you like? Are they no, cooked? No, they are not cooked. Uh, here we go. It's less than five minutes into service, and despite making two batches of sweet potato mash, the red team is about to run out. We need more sweet potatoes, please. How do you nah, go you to can't. a whole you hotel yeah, and improvise do something else in five minutes? I'm. Do something else. We need else. more sweet potatoes immediately. Oh my God. Wait, she's pulling my the potatoes. My dream of being the greatest team leader alive is plummeting quicker than I can say. Holy. This is not possible. No, no time. We are out of sweet potatoes for right now, ladies. Oh my God. This is not possible. Damn, John was right. For this team challenge, the red and blue teams are each serving steaks with F two side no dishes shots. for 101 no, a, a Twitch, Cowboys. Twitch F, not me. It's five minutes into service, and already 
The red team has run out of sweet potato mash. Red team, come here, come here, come here, come here. So, yeah, that means you as well, Becky. Come here. Well, I like, I like the Felix's look. We serve 25 Baller. cowboys. We've run out of sweet potatoes. I just find it embarrassing because we all look so stupid. None of you know what's going on. We're going to make it work. We're we'll going to make it work. Whatever sweet potatoes yeah. we can get, Let's we're going to get out immediately. Oh. Monty's main job from the very beginning was sweet potatoes. That was the job that she set for herself. What the hell happened? Please no. explain to them, Becky. Uh, wrong, lady. Wrong. With sweet potatoes. That was nope. the job that she Her set for herself. Her job was beans. What the hell happened? Please and she explain knows that. to them, Becky and Felix, that we have no starch. We have no starch yeah, right we, now. We, we ran, ran out of our, out of our sweet, potatoes. sweet potatoes. No sweet potatoes. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Guys, 45 minutes to go. As the red team scrambles to make more sweet potato mash, the judges check in on the cowboys and girls to see whose food they're liking better. So ladies, you like the blue team or the red team? I like the blue with the sauce. The barbecue sauce like you like. Blue or red? I like this one. Really? Yeah. Red. Mm -hmm. blue. 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 This blue. sauce this is sauce. Amazing. What is it about the blue sauce? Everyone's talking about the blue sauce. I want to put it on both steaks. Oh, right on. The Thank butter. You, I'd say one out of three of those cowboys asked me for my recipe. They want to buy it. They wanted more. California girls know how to make barbecue sauce. OK. It's halfway through I'm service, so sorry, and the red team is still frantically working on a new batch of sweet potato mash as the 101 Stacey? Cowboys begin casting Stacey, their votes. Off? The first team to 51 votes wins. Just pick up a horseshoe, then please come up and vote. Is it the red team or the blue team? Go blue, go blue, go blue! Red! Start at number one. Jesus. One more time, please. Ladies. First vote to the blue. Woo! Number two, wow, it's two. Woo we ran out of our starch today, but hopefully our staple will win you over. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Please, please, please. You get no points for that. Blue again. That's what I'm talking about. People are just going up and it's like blue, blue, blue. And every single time, it's just like a shot to my heart. Eight to the blue, zero to the red. Where are you going? Yeah. You're cranking the red. One to the red, finally. Wait, God bless you. how is it even allowed? Another one for the blue. Blue team! I don't know what the blue team is serving. Apparently, it came with a side of gold because the cowboys loved it. Guys, the red team, guys, do not give up. In other, in other competitions, whenever they were missing an ingredient, or missing a part of the dish, they, they lose a point, motherfucker. Sir, red, fantastic. <laughs> Blue Otherwise, again. they would only make two things. Is this really happening, man? Are we really this Beans far ahead? It's 12, 29. Yes! What happened over there? What the f did they cook? No, oh, I'm so sorry that we ran out of our sweet potato puree, you guys. Oh, no. Come in with the potatoes. Woo! No, love it. Yes. With plenty of cowboys left to serve, the red team finally has more sweet potato mash, while Joe discovers that the blue team's popularity is slipping. Blue, maybe a little bit too overcooked. Yeah, the blue plate, uh, you know, I like it to be less cooked. That's how I like it, so. Here you go, there you go. Thank David? you so much. Funny enough, it's Frank, funny. the only complaint I'm getting is on your station. Stay Whoa! Overcooked. I'm doing the best I can, Joe. Well, well you better do better. Do, okay? Not happy people. I've never cooked so many steaks in my life. It's overwhelming to Wait, he was rolling, what happened? And have what happened? steaks going at once. So now I'm a little bit worried about that. Nobody likes an overcooked steak, man. If I ruin the steak, I this. What are you feeling? Reds versus blues? This just really hits home, and the green beans are fabulous, too. So all three at this table are going red. Beautiful. Red! Yes! Go, on, baby! Another one for the red team! Yeah! Thank you! I'm gonna go I don't know who I want to win anymore. Whoa! Red again! Yes! Is that raw? Damn it! Oh, let me take a look. It looks a little, uh... Wait. Whoa, really it looks a little dank. Damn it! We're at 40, and then Red starts getting a comeback. They're like 20, 25, 30. You mean I'm red? What the f*** is going on? Come back! We're the comeback kids! It's Relax, the final Becky. minutes of the Cowboy Cookout, and all plates are out. Now, both teams wait anxiously for the final votes. It's still up for grabs, guys. Let's go! So, service ends. And it's kind of like blue, 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 red, red, blue, 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 red, red. They have a significant lead on us, but I, I'm absolutely Wait. not giving up. 36 for the red team. Okay. 49 for the blue okay, team. Okay, dude. Come on. Two Come more. On. Two more. 
The blue team needs just two more votes to win the team challenge. Can the red team make one last Stop. dramatic comeback? Cowboys, where are we going? Yeah. Red or blue? Blue! 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 blue. blue. Oh, okay. One more. One small vote for the blue no, team. I won't no, I won't bet to win. And Frank would have led his team to victory. No! Where are you going, sir? Come on, man. Come on, brother. Red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cowboy. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Cowgirl. Cowgirl. If you vote Ooh, blue shit. team, the red team will be facing a pressure test where one of them will be leaving my Red. Center. Red. Come on, please, please, please. Red. Red team or blue team? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What the fuck did my food? Blue team, congratulations! I really couldn't do it without this team, though. Everybody brought their A game. Everybody made something that they have passion for, and that's the reason why we won. Red team, unfortunately, you must face the dreaded pressure test. No, no I think we would have won if Frank was the leader because Frank clearly had the better ideas. This menu was ten times better. Than Josh Monty's called it. Suit. I hope Josh. Yeah, I hope Josh is getting named this. And that, ugh, he God, called it. it. Makes my stomach hurt even thinking about it. No, 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 no. Let, let's best. Josh called it. Becky complained about it later on. That's a problem. That is always. She never, she never approached the problem face on. She always let it go through and then complain it like some hose. After winning the team challenge, the home cooks from the blue team take to the balcony. While the losing red team awaits a pressure test, She's where as one contestant will be sent home. Yeah, Becky, a rat. Going into the pressure test, I feel like I deserve it. I have absolutely put together the worst performance of leadership in the history of MasterChef. Come down and stand in front, please. Thank you. We lost, but I busted my ass. Oh, the, the, I did not question my leader. This is an all-star team. You know? <sighs> it's now taste test. Come on. Time for you to compete in another pressure test. And when it's done, at least one of you will be eliminated from MasterChef. There are four of you, but only three of you will be fighting out in the pressure test. What? The choice of who gets immunity is up to you four. The four of you are gonna head into the wine room now. You're gonna come out here with one name, the one person that you feel that does not Josh. deserve to face this intense pressure test. Josh. You got it? Got it, sir. Let's go. Oh, this is, this is just a drama. Come on, Becky. Guys, this is, the, this, this is scripted for Becky to talk shit finally in real life, not on the camera. Come on, Becky. Tell us how you feel. So immediately I'm taking myself out of the equation. I feel like Felix performed the best yesterday and I would like her to have safety. I disagree. Don't fucking cry. Felix, what did you actually do? I rubbed down the steaks. I peeled and cut potatoes. Okay, I had my hands in everything. I started the butter for the butter sauce. I seasoned, I tasted. I asked what needed to be done. She really did try to fill in the gaps. And I when think we all did a little bit though. I mean like, you guys, I feel responsible for this. I think all of us made mistakes yesterday, but I think Felix made the least. I disagree. Felix isn't really saying much because she knows deep down in her heart that she didn't do and she shouldn't have that immunity. Josh. Becky, who do you think should have immunity? I'm gonna say myself just because I think that I did everything that I could. Becky, you cooked off 25 steaks, well done. You didn't tempt them, and I had to switch you out with Josh because you couldn't handle it. I, I don't think tempting. we switched out because I couldn't handle it. We switched That's... out because it was 100 steaks. No. Let's go. No. Becky. We need a name. Oh, they all, they all vote themselves, and she votes Felix. Felix is good. She's, okay. good. She's good. Would the person you have all agreed that should be safe, please step forward. They vote all themselves, and Monty votes Felix. Yeah! 
Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. hey. It is what it is, You're man. Safe. Please join the gallery. Two years with my Duke's arrest. QCL. Sorry, Josh. I'm sorry, Josh. It's all good. Hey, hey, I feel hey. like I was a workhorse of the group. Handshake. I really helped keep the team together. Felix wasn't the critical part of our team. Josh, what the fuck? Under this cloche will be one of your undoing. The simplest of ingredients. Egg. Egg. We're giving you each six amazing, delicious eggs. And you're going to give us one perfect soft boiled egg. Oh, no. One impeccable sunny yeah. side up fried egg. One stunning, perfect poached egg. And then one absolutely phenomenal three egg omelet. Got it? Yes. Cooking oh. a perfect egg is culinary school 101, but cooking six in four different preparations, all timed to perfection, that's the kind of skill that's required of a master chef. Take a deep breath and head back to your stations. I, lo I love you challenges. It's a good reminder, if you want to be a chef, you got to master the, the egg. About eggs. You just have to. They are big time bitches. You can overcook an egg in five seconds. You have to time it to the second or you are going home. In just over 20 minutes, one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Yeah, we'll see. Six eggs, no extras, no backups. Your time starts. Now. Now. All three home cooks now just have 20 minutes to prepare one sunny side up egg, one poached egg, one soft boiled egg, Ooh. and a three egg omelet. Jeez. This is a tough one. This really is tough. 20 minutes, 20 six minutes. eggs, no room for error. Every day I come into this kitchen, I gotta put everything I have, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. Soft boiled? I don't believe I deserve to be in this press test, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Chad, does Who's soft boiled the have the here? inside hard think, or, or you know, Josh, uh, watery? I just imagine, that, you know, yeah, they just got some breakfast to. skills. I think that Becky has the inherent skill, but she's very angry. If she lets that anger control her cooking technique, it might be jeopardy. Water, All right, soft. Josh, how are you feeling? Feeling great, chef. Which egg are you most worried about? The poached egg. Never poached an egg. I love my eggs sunny side up, so... You sound down, deflated. Come on, keep it up, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. Sure. OK. Yeah, where's the energy, man? Just coming up to five. Josh, spinning minutes. apart. Gone. Come on, to you. Hello. How are you? I'm doing OK. I'm a little nervous. I don't uh, usually eat sunny side up eggs. I just do, like, over easy eggs. Do you want to go home? Monty, uh, I think she's my biggest competition right now. Good luck. Oh, that egg, the way, the egg is already GG. Is that in? Yes, sir. Which egg are you wait, most worried about? Wait, 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 that egg is already GG. I think you could be going home? No, sir, I'm not going home today, no, sir. Shit's fucking burned. Last 10 minutes, here we go. The Do you get a brown contour that's going upwards? You get the water, upwards. You it's got hot. vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. Crack the egg into a ramekin and then drop the egg into the water mm -hmm. as it rolls around. It forms almost like a sort of mozzarella ball. Mm -hmm. And you have to start like whisking. Gentle, gentle, gentle. gentle. Hey. David? No, you don't whisk. Just a little bit. Go a vortex. Josh. She just put the egg in boiling water. You gotta start those cold. Just coming up to five minutes to go. The risk for a home cook is like, look around, see who's got the flames up the highest. That's going to be the person who's going to lose, because right. the loser in this game is high heat. And Monty's got all her burners on full blast. The last two minutes, two minutes to go. The time is going by so fast, and I still don't have any eggs cooked. 90 seconds That's to fine. go. That's fine. I'm not going home on an egg, dude. Ooh. I'm not going home on an egg. In this pressure test, three of the four home cooks from the losing team are cooking six eggs four different ways in just 20 minutes to see who stays and who leaves the Master Chef kitchen. 30 seconds to go. That's good, Becky. Come on, Monty. 
That was pretty good. Tell me exactly the plan now. What's Monty doing? Man, Ten, nine, eight, seven, no. six, yeah. five, yeah. four, three, two, yeah. one, and stop. Ooh. Hands in the air. Good job, guys. Bring your eggs to the front bench, please. I know I have two beautiful eggs. Wait. One disgusting looking omelet. I need bacon chicken. And oh. one beautiful looking sunny side up egg with raw egg whites on it. Salmonella. That's what I want to give the judges today. Okay. Monty. Yes, sir. Wait, she doesn't. So the sunny side up, let's start with that one, shall we? It's got this rawness to the top. How come that's still raw? It didn't cook long enough. It's, it's gonna. Bleh. Oh! It's a shame. Tastes nice. Uh, but you've got some unwanted goo, right? Yes, sir. Yes, man, please. I hope everything else is just as raw as that one. Okay, dude. Omelets. Okay, dude. It looks very flat. It looks more like a sort of crepe from here. That is dry. Tastes nice. It's just a little bit too flat. Too flat? Poached egg. How long do you poach it for? Three minutes. Dry as fuck. So I'm expecting that to sort of just open up and almost spill. I hope so, sir. OK, yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yep. Nicely seasoned. OK, we'll take that. Runny. Tastes nice. Good. Soft boiled egg. Okay, here it comes. Nettle. Well done, the bus in. Beautiful. Perfectly executed and timed to perfection. Good job. Thank you, sir. Pretty good. Post. It's done beautifully. The soft boiled egg. How does she she pop up everything and she okay. pops up the sunny side up? So the sunny side up, the fried egg. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm looking at is it's, the it's yolk. Dead. Sunny side up, right? I mean, it should look like a beautiful sunny day, and uh, and you know it looks like a cloudy day. Brown. It's absolutely fried. Ugh. The egg is shrunk up. Ooh. You know the whites have have seized. Becky. Explain. Great flavor, but definitely chewy due to the cook. The omelet looks like it Bussin. would come out of any four-star kitchen. It's beautiful. Yeah. Omelet's wicked for sure. It's moist. Yeah, that's that's like sex on a plate. That creamy texture. It, it's. Fuck. Wonderful, beautiful omelet. Shit. All right, so the poached. You should be able to pierce it and just see it Why explode. Why is it always so horny? Yo. It's perfect. What the fuck? It's got a definite wow factor. <sighs> you can almost take the egg and. That's a great poached egg. It's perfect. Be soft boiled. It all rests on this now. Come on. I think it's, that the it's worst thing would be is if I served them a hard boiled egg. It's hard boiled. Of a soft boiled egg. That soft boiled it's egg. It's fucking hard, that isn't could be it? What keeps me here, sends me home. It really could. It's such a wild card. It's fucking hard boiled, you fucking witch. Wait, it's raw. It's fucking raw. He's not gonna it's eat it. Hard boiled egg, not a dangerous soft boiled egg. <laughs> That's a shame. Embarrassing. The omelet was incredible. It's oh, listen, wrong. even if you don't eat soft boiled eggs, at this point you need to know how to cook one, right? You need to know. Okay. Okay, Josh. Which of the eggs are you most proud of? I had to say the omelet. What do you think Ooh. of your fried egg? I'm pretty satisfied with it. How often do you make fried eggs? Pretty often. Josh. Do you think the yolk will be completely runny in the middle when I cut it? Yes. Come on, don't be stagnant. 
and right you are. Okay. That is a perfectly cooked sunny yeah, side egg. He had a very, very small uh, yellow. Nice one. It's delicious. Okay. The omelet. Do you think um, we're gonna get fluffiness in the middle or am I gonna see center. like a dense custardy omelet? It will be fluffy. Ooh. What? That's a fluffy omelet. This is fried custard. It's not, it's not. That's it a custard shit. Like fried custard. Damn, man, I hope these other two eggs are cooked just right. Right now, it's anybody's game. So when I cut through in the you poach, not keep it I should see runny yolk, and then the white should be soft, but not like a hard-boiled egg. Exactly. I'd love to have a little bit more delicacy. The egg white here, it looks pretty um, violently boiled. Yeah. Fuck. For me, the whole process is basically 30 to 45 seconds gone too far. Okay, to the boil. We've had one perfect soft Come boil. Come on, it's perfect, right, Jack? Raw soft boil. Right, it's perfect. It's, it's. I'm feeling nervous. I'm just hoping the soft boiled egg is cooked through because that's probably my only saving grace right now. What's happening inside this egg could determine who wins a quarter million dollars. It's gonna, it's gonna be busting them. I'm petrified. If that egg is bad, I think I might have a chance. But if his egg is perfect, I'm gonna be going home. Josh. Hey! In the middle of the egg reveal, what the fuck is this? The judges have tasted all the eggs but one in this pressure test. Josh's soft boiled egg could decide which contestant is sent home. What's happening inside this egg could determine who wins a quarter million dollars. In the damn thing, buddy. What the fuck is that? The yolk is raw cold. The white is not even cooked at all. If you like cold egg yolks and undercooked egg whites, maybe. But for the rest of us, it's raw. God damn it, Josh. My only solace right now is that Maybe Josh screwed up his eggs worse than I did. I'm nowhere I mean, near ready to go home, busting. but this last egg may have just been my ticket home. Monty, step forward, please. Those last 20 minutes in that pressure test showed us great flair, great composure. Monty, go upstairs to yeah. the balcony. Oh, we knew that already. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Great job. Okay, she, she did good. She did good. I'm so relieved to be safe, but you know, I've never had good news feel so awful. What? Why? I led these people into a disaster of a situation. It's not even true. And now somebody's going home. Becky, everybody in this competition feels that you are a threat, a serious contender for the top three, perhaps even the final. We are shocked that an egg has got the better of you. 50 months, let's go. Joshua, the level of knowledge that you have for a 24-year-old cannot be matched in a top-flight kitchen, yet you're an amateur. Becky, please take a step forward. Perhaps. That was a tough 20 minutes. It's the hardest 20 minutes of my life, Shane. Oh, come on. This is my dream. There's nothing else that I want more right now. Stop, and I made stop an her. error in this stop her. pressure test, and I let the hey. pressure get to me, and that will not ever, ever happen again. Stop her from talking. What the fuck is this? Becky, please take your apron. Homer. Upstairs, you 
Upstairs, right? Upstairs? Yeah, just say it. Upstairs. Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. That has been Those who a know. very tough and bloody horrible decision to make. Why? Because you've blown us away. You know, Fuck, man. I don't care what it is you want from me, but you've got me the minute you walk out that door. Whether it's time in my kitchen, whether it's help, or even for ideas, you give me a call. You deserve it. Truly appreciate that. Well done. Well, somebody somebody had to go, man. It, I'm it was... proud of my performance, proud of everything I did so far in this competition, and I um, have no reason to hang my head. That's right, man. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's bloody awkward. But who's going to win MasterChef? Felix. Uh, I honestly can't wait to try Christine's cookbook. <laughs> I feel like Mods, my food knowledge spoilers, and spoilers, my no spoilers, and abilities you spoil it from a band, from a band. increased tremendously across the universe. Here. It's a huge opportunity to be able to learn directly from amazing chefs and restaurateurs. Just because I'm leaving MasterChef today doesn't mean that I'm not going to pursue my dream. and It doesn't mean I'm going to stop cooking. I'm still going to be myself and cook my ass off. Somebody had to go. I guess harder and harder and harder. But also though, I'm, I'm just okay. One last.